All right, all right, 26 March, 2022. And today we got good news for Ethereum investors, kind of bad news for Ethereum miners. As we all know, the uh, proof of stake is supposed to come this June, 2022. And that means the proof of work model uh, will kind of fade away and everything will go proof of stake. And then the miners will have to, have to find another coin Another coin other than Ethereum, ETHash, another algorithm other than ETHash to mine. So good and bad news. That's why I always tell people, mine, mine, mine till you cannot mine no more. Stack those coins. Stack those coins, man. Just stack them because if ETH is going to go up, you might as well get some benefit out of the coins you did mine and then, you know, either keep holding or uh, if it does go up, cash out and pay for your rigs. You know what I mean? Get your ROI back and uh, treat it as a lesson learned on, well, I used ETH, made some money, paid for my hardware. Now I'm going to go on and mine some other coins. Which coins? Who knows? Ergo, Flux, Ravencoin. Nobody knows. So let's go through this. This is what? Coin Telegraph. Oh, I don't have a date on it. March 25th, 2022. So, yeah, yesterday. Ethereum price hits 3.2K as anticipation builds ahead of the merge. And they're calling this a shadow merge. I did a video earlier today on where they're already, they already have set up a test net and they're uh, testing out the changes and debugging and, uh, you know, kind of turning on and off and running in parallel with the proof of work model. So there is a shadow merge that could occur where it just happens and nobody really knows it happens. And now miners will know because they won't be able to mine Ethereum anymore, but they're out there and they're making progress. Is June the date? Nobody knows. Nobody knows with software and a diva type engineers. You just never know if these guys will get anything done and if it works. Sometimes people push things out too quick and they break everything, especially stuff now like Ethereum, which is out there, currently out there and being used. You just uh, you just can't rule stuff out and expect no breakage. And if you if you cause a lot of breakage, that's going to be more damage than, uh, than positive, right? All right, let's go through this. Let's just see first where we're at. For reference, 44,700 on Bitcoin, 3,153 on Ethereum, and I lost my article. Our ETH made a clear trend change and aims for the 3,800 level, the 3,800 level, after traders' anticipation of the upcoming merge lures the bulls back to the market. Notice the key where they're traders' anticipation, not miners' traders. Though a week-long uptrend in the crypto market has begun to awaken bullish crypto investors and the successful March 15 launch of the Ethereum merge on the Kiln testnet has the, uh, has the community excited about the upcoming switch to proof-of-stake POS. <clears throat> yeah, so there's progress going on. Uh, what's funny about this is once the market starts going up, everyone gets all happy and bullish again. It's like, uh, where were you at when the things were down? Because you... Typically, the philosophy is you buy on the dips. When there's blood in the streets, you buy on the dips. When there's greed in the streets, you sell. So you got to watch that. Uh, let's see. Data from the uh, markets shows that since the successful launch of the kiln on kiln, the price of Ether has climbed 25% from 2500 to a daily high at 3193 on March 25th. As traders took to lock in their positions ahead of the merge. Here's a look at what analysts in the market are saying could happen with the price of Ether as the merge approaches and how the switch to POS uh, could affect this long-term price. Right, this price long-term. I read bad. All right, a clear breakout from the downtrend, uh, the turnaround in Ether price over the last couple of weeks was uh, succinctly addressed by crypto analyst Justin, who posted the following chart highlighting the trend reversal that has occurred. All right, these guys and their charts will drive me nuts. They're making me crazy. They must be using Jamaica because Jamaica me crazy. 
uh, uh, daily chart analysis. Uh, just stop it. All right. Just stop it with your charts. All right, let's go. I always just ignore that stuff when they start talking about the trend line analysis charting and all this stuff. It's like just you're just gobbledygook, dudes. Get over it. All right, I'm. You can see I'm bitter. I just think it's a waste. It's all snake oil voodoo stuff. Uh, especially these guys on the YouTube channels talking about their chart and their trend. And I forgot the terms already because I just. Uh, anyway, enough, 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 enough of the madness. If you like the coin, you buy the coin. You dollar cost average in. That's the best approach. Time in the market is better than time in the market. And then, like I said, blood in the streets, you buy. Greed in the streets, you sell. That is basically the philosophy of investing. Can you hold to it? No, it takes discipline. It takes concentration. And sometimes the best thing you can do is get up from your little keyboard and walk away and don't do a damn thing. And you'll actually make more money. Look at the investments you made over your life. And the ones you have not even touched or forgotten about, they have grown tenfold. The ones you keep mucking with, those are the ones you're losing money on. I mean, am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know. So what's this guy saying? The merge will, the, oh my God. The merge will be a bullish development. A deeper analysis of the effects of the upcoming merge for Ethereum will have on its price was discussed by the analyst uh, who noted that the merge will have bullish implications for Ether. I always get curious. I always get cautious when people say that. Because they just don't know. All right. The prospect of being able to make a passive return on staked Ether will attract more investors into the space, while the transition to proof of stake will reduce Ethereum's energy, con energy consumption by 99.95%. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good thing. Thoughts on that are that it, once the miners leave the field and the miners are the big support system for Ethereum, I don't know if Ethereum is going to maintain the price. That's the other thing. When you lose, when you lose the evangelist for your coin and your platform, because you're making these folks money, and you lose all that community, I don't know. That's my only doubt right now. And the high gas fees and the community going away, I have doubts. So I may have my coins ready to be dumped ASAP if I see this sucker trending down after they go to POS eyeballs on the price and getting ready to hit that sell trigger you know that's just that's just my that's my take on it i could be wrong which i most likely am uh but i don't know community supports a coin look at look elon musk makes a tweet about a dogecoin and things shoots to the moon or something stupid and bitcoin crashes there's no real fact behind any of this crap yet it's all speculation it's all popularity it's all like who's the most popular coin and oh everyone else is on it let me do it so it's like anything. It's like with stocks, too. It's like Tesla. Oh, it's going up. It's going down. It's like, stop. It's just buy it if you like it and hold it, right? I do like the staking point because then you are getting passive income on the crypto you do hold. That is a plus. I do that now with Raptorium, and I do that with my other crypto on Voyager where I make interest each month on the uh, crypto I do hold. It's a risk, obviously, but I'd rather get something rather than keep it in it right now totally safe. But I have only a little bit on Voyager. I probably will get that off ASAP and put it into some secure hard wallets. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I think that's probably a good strategy. It's nice getting passive income. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. They're saying now with the merge to the POS, the proof of stake, will help attract more institutional money into the Ethereum ecosystem as the environmental Social, oh my God, and governance concerns. This ESG is toxic, guys. Uh, don't fall for the crap. I know a lot of people are brainwashed NPCs. They just believe what they're told on legacy media or whoever. You guys, use your own brain. That is the whole gist of my stupid channel is uh, use your critical thinking skills. Don't believe everything you hear. Look at everything. Consume it. Doubt and verify. Don't even trust and verify. Doubt it and verify even if someone's in your own little echo chamber, doubt what they're saying and go, why'd you say that? And then prove it. And if you ask someone to prove and they can't, then they start calling you names Then they know they were just making crap up. You know what I mean? That's typically the way people roll. When you question someone and say, show your facts and they get all belligerent, you won. They're just bullshitting you. Anyway, I don't know how I got on. Oh, the ESG stuff. Yeah, that's why this stuff, who cares about ESG? You know what I mean? That's Companies are eating that up though. And that's why you're seeing all the crap you're seeing today. I don't know. Who knows? 
The merge will also have a notable impact on the circulating supply of Ether as the net issuers of undergo a significant drop off once a completed block rewards are replaced with Ether staking yields. All right, it's more about staking. That was very boring. Uh, this, coupled with the ongoing Ether burning, should make Ether def deflationary and should be bullish overall. All right, here we go. We got two shoulds in one statement, one sentence. That's not a good thing. A lot of hyper, uh, hypotheticals, hopium, stuff like that. I don't fall for it. All right, this guy could say whatever he wants. Again, critical thing is because I'm reading this just to consume what's happening. All I'm getting out of this is the merge is going to happen. It's going to go to proof of stake. You're going to be able to stake your ether, and that's all we know right now, right? That is all we know. Is it going to do well? Nobody knows. Is it going to save on power? Maybe. Who knows? All right. The merge is a crowded table. A crowded table? The merge is a crowded trade, but so is BTC halvening. Only difference is ETH becomes a deflationary asset with the EIP-1559. You can look that up for your homework tonight, kitties, and uh, let me know what you find. S-curve adoption, oh God, as the foundation Web3 protocol is going to send ETH to monumentous, monumentous heights over the next decade. A decade, huh? You aren't ready, whatever that. Overall cryptocurrency market cap now stands at 1.9 trillion. Uh, Ether, Ether's dominance rate is 18.7%, okie dokie. And that's it on this article. Let's jump over to another article, jeez. All right, this one is, this guy's just talking. Ethereum is about to undergo a massive network upgrade. This is all part of the merge. Uh, they're keeping an eye on the price movements. Uh, what else are they talking about in here? It's exciting to me right now. And first of all, uh, let's see. We're seeing tremendous institu institutional interest right now in the crypto markets, way more than last year. Last year, we saw a lot of high net worth money coming in. Now we're seeing a lot of institutional interest. So that's good. Uh, Ethereum has established itself as what we call the world's computer. So that is interesting. Uh, let's see, Ethereum's use uses proof of work mining, similar to how Bitcoin works today. It's about to move away from proof of work mining to what's called proof of stake. And proof of stake has a lot of advantages in setting up Ethereum to scale and also consume significantly less electricity to mine blocks going forward. And that upgrade has a lot of people, including this guy, very excited. Yeah. Uh, this merge that's going from proof of work to proof of stake, you can sort of describe it. Uh, the significance of it is fairly technical feat. All right. Yeah, he's trying to break it down. Proof of work mining is the idea that a bunch of computers basically play a game against each other, find a, a new Ethereum, and also insert pending transactions into the Ethereum blockchain. That's also how Bitcoin works today. And you pay gas fees to GUI, GWI, which is actually Ethereum itself. In order for the right to insert your transaction, that whole process is about to replace. So mining and all that stuff is about to go. Um, <clears throat> problem is, proof of work is decentralized. You got all these GPUs and miners out there all over the place. Proof of stake, it's going to centralize it. So isn't that defeating the purpose of crypto going from a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network going to this centralized POS. I don't know. Seems sketch to me. I'm concerned about that, especially with government so easily and willing and wanting to freeze people's assets just for even blinking or thinking the wrong thoughts. So I want decentralization over centralization, right? Right? Why not? Why would you want centralization? Look how easy it is for them to take all your stuff without any due process. All right, let's go. And this beacon chain, let's see, what's my beacon chain? Uh, version of Ethereum, which we refer to as the Beacon Change, went live in December and it's running on its own right now. And this Beacon Chain uses POS, proof of stake to validate transactions. And in simple terms, that means that people become validators or nodes become validators of transactions. And basically, whether or not you validate a transaction is partially dependent upon how much Ethereum you stake and no longer depend upon mining. All right. Yeah, staking. Gotcha. All right, that's all I got. They're just talking about POS, PO, uh, proof of work to proof of stake. They predict it's going to be a good thing when the merge officially occurs. I don't know. We'll see. Staking's not a bad thing. Passive income is the future, is the way, not the future, is the way to make money. Because having a job means just over broke, J-O-B. A salary is just enough to keep you from looking for another career or being an uh, entrepreneur. Uh, they just give you enough. Just And you ever notice that your salary is just enough? 
to pay your mortgage and have sort of a basic life. It's just enough. And uh, it's, it's kind of sad. I wish more people realized you're just all being played. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? The, the game is stacked against you. It's a big club out there, guys. And guess what? We ain't in it. So the best we can do is use our little brain, do critical thinking, and find our best way to navigate this. Right now, I am crypto mining Ethereum full time, uh, trying to get as much as I can to stack the coin. So if it does take off, I will see that and watch the uh, mood of the uh, people who own it or what's going on in the environment, the ecosystem, and maybe dump it for a profit and pay off all my hardware. <laughs> I don't know. That's the goal. You know what I mean? My mistake in the past has been holding on to all of it too long, riding the ups and downs and going, oh, is ever going to come back? Taking profits is not a bad thing. I dropped some other financial cliches, uh, narratives, uh, phrases to go by, and they've been around forever, and there's a reason for that. All right, so that is all that is in this article. I don't see any more. So anyway, go for it. Let me know if you see anything interesting on Ethereum and what you're going to do. It Will it come in June? Will the merge happen in June or will it take longer? Nobody knows. Uh, I'm hoping it takes longer because I just want to keep mining this stuff right now. And right now, the actual profitability index went up to 0.046 cents mining Ethereum. So it's going up a little bit, which is interesting. So anyway, go for it. Do great things. That is all I got. Beware of the merge. Anyway, the merge is happening, but who knows when. The shadow merge, look that up to it. They call it the shadow merge. And uh, we'll see how this all goes. Interesting times. And now we got to think about what other coins will we be mining. Nobody knows what will be profitable. Yeah, cool times. Wild West, man.